This woman will never reply your text, will not take your call. You don't have direct contact with your daughter. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. You're all welcome back to Kali's Chris Kid TV. Please, it's your third time tuning in. Kindly subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more updates. So guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys video of Kanayo Kanayo stating reasons why he publicly banned Angel Onigwe from acting. We can recall on the 21st of June 2024, Kanayo Kanayo came publicly to announce that he has banned Angel Unigwe from acting. Reasons being that Angel Unigwe and the mother, who is a manager, breached their acting contract. According to Kanayo Kanayo, he stated that Angel Unigwe's mother, who is a manager, came to pick her up even when the acting time they signed for is not yet over. And Angel Unigwe mother have already come publicly to state that she is not happy with the public post that Kanayo Kana made, stating that it is an allegation and cyberbully. She also let the public note that Kanayo Kanayo will be sued for the public allegation that he laid on them. Meanwhile, Kanayo Kanayo in a recent post that he hasn't received any letter from the court that he himself is a lawyer, so he's ready for any action. Guys, a lot of people have been asking, why did Kanayo Kanayo came out publicly to announce the ban which he placed on Angel Unigwe? Why didn't he resolve the matter amicably and secretly without letting the public know? In response to this question, in an interview he had, he said he's been trying to call the woman, trying to tell him to bring the daughter, but she was not responding. So guys, I'll leave you to watch the video and see how everything went for yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you guys for watching. Who made you vex? I'm asking for clarity. Mm. What would make you, you know, make that video? Alright, thank you. And once again, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, it borders on professional misconduct. This is the only industry that has kept me and a whole lot of others for the past 30, 35, 40 years. So we need to protect it. And um, um, I was calling out um, the particular woman, uh, Mrs. Unigwe, mother of Angel Unigwe, the actress. Uh, I, I, I feel very uh, not too happy about the younger girl whose mother is messing up her career. Um, it's borders on breach of contract. Mm. Uh, you hire an artist for, for say, YouTube content, and uh, you they can only give you three days. Okay. We shoot for four days, sometimes five days. But you can only give me three days. So allow my three days to expire. For instance, I asked you guys on this program straight, when does a day expire? At midnight. At midnight. And you took your daughter away at 9 p.m. without shooting six scenes. Professionally, mm. it's not done. And... One thing, Adi, Adi, you will understand, you're a production person is, when the artists disperse, some of them can get them back in two months. Mm -hmm. So who bears the brunt? So it was that I, we, there was nothing and people wouldn't intervene yesterday to say to this woman, bring your daughter and shoot these scenes and go your way. Okay, okay, goes his way. She wouldn't listen. And then when I went out, uh, and I was talking to people, I now had reports of people who said, she took my money here. She took my money here. She wouldn't bring the daughter. When she comes, she makes trouble. And I found out that immediately your money entered this woman's hand. She would change all the uh, 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 things in the contract you had with her. Either oral contract or written contract. And that's why I called her out. As a high-standing member of the entertainment industry, I sit at the ringside. It is left for me to protect those who cannot speak, those who, who, knows, who don't know when their rights are breached or violated. And I stand in that gap. If she has done this to a lot of people. And most, most of them called me yesterday to say, uh -huh, uh -huh. she thinks she could do me this and so on. Yeah. And there was nothing we didn't beg this woman to say. People now say that, are you aware KOK is a legend? Are you aware one of those who service the industry? Mm -hmm. This is something you have to even do out of respect. She wouldn't listen to anybody. I have everything. Unfortunately, she didn't know we had every evidence of our whole transactions. Even the people she was talking to who were pleading on her behalf for her to come. And at the end, she, she, she refused to bring her daughter. But, you know, some some would say, instead of bringing it to Instagram, because mm -hmm. I went to the comment section yes. and I was like, I yes. saw people's yes. opinions. Yes. So, yes. Some would say, why would you bring it to Instagram? Mm -hmm. Others would say, is there no body? Is there no association? Okay. Is there no... All right. Now, I... Before I made that video yesterday, 
I had um, made a call and I spoke with the actors gate of Nigeria president, Chief Emeka Rulas, and I said, I am doing this, just be in the know, that I'm going to send you the video I'm going to do. Because many, it has happened to many people. I mean, it's, it's not that I couldn't have handled, but how do you handle a situation where people are producing and she's doing the same thing from one set to the other? The Actors Guild can intervene. Don't forget one thing. I'm the producer of the content. I'm the executive producer and I'm an actor. So I have, I have a tripod stand on the production. I didn't have to consult any producer. I was dealing with her directly. And most unfortunately, most unfortunately, let the viewers be aware of this. She refused to even cooperate with the costume person, makeup, and so on. She's, and I think this, this Cynthia who called me from Beach Africa this morning, asked Cynthia, he didn't take me up to 10 minutes to reply to her test. This woman will never reply to her test, will not take your call. So the production crew, how do you work. film or work seamlessly with her daughter? You don't have direct contact with her daughter. In fact, I have just withdrawn myself because of the girl. If not, I would have said more. Hmm. As, as a follow-up to what Ezebe has said, if you have an association that you expect that these practitioners, you know, owe some sort of allegiance to, and consider this association one that's where the problem is. Most actors think they are bigger than the actors get of Nigeria. They will never come for a meeting. If I told them, we tell you I don't belong to AGN and so on, they're doing their own thing, I'm doing my own thing. And do you know where you catch them? When they are going to the embassy, they don't say which do you do not belong. They will not come to the AGN president to write them a letter. But they will never come for meetings. They will never contribute. They will never do anything. So when you're talking about the association, we know some people immediately stardom happens to them. They, you need to behave like they're bigger than the guild. There are many of them, and I, I don't want to call names. But is, is this not a problem that was created by practitioners in the industry? Where, for example, I mean, if people look up to you as somebody who has spent quite this number of years in the industry, and you are a member of this association, and they look at somebody else who may be of the same um, number of years or status, and the person has a disregard for the association, don't you think this would make younger people or people who hit stardom say, I have no business with this association. Exactly. That's why there needs to be a clarion call for everybody to know that we are better off being under a guild. We are better off being under an association that will protect our general interest. That operating individually does not help us. It's for people to have that understanding. But when you have people who do not have that kind of feeling, it becomes bad. So it's a work in progress. It's a continuum to call on the actors and the AGM president with his executives to keep on working to bring in actors together and for actors to know not just when we go for burials mm -hmm. not when we have candle lights that there's you that there's, 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 the teamwork makes the dream work mm -hmm. that we need to work as a team mm -hmm. and we will have more respect if we work as an association that we have more respect if it's so bad uh, told you that when you institute a kind of fund to say actors from what you earn give half percent to the guild mm. in your good and healthy working years so that when you have a health issue and that's why you see always that actors are always coming to the social media to ask for this because many people have refused to be part of the association to build something from your earning i mean if i earn one million per movie for instance what is one percent of it that's ten thousand kind of mm -hmm. why wouldn't you pay ten thousand to a fund mm. which will be used to take care of those who are sick. It will get to your tongue one day when you, the rainy day will always come when you cannot function effectively and your health deteriorates. Mm. The, that's the idea behind the social security system abroad. So that when you are not working and you're not in good health, they will not pull from there and take care of you. So people do not want to align with this. People do not want to contribute. So, it becomes uh, something that is not is not uh, uh, it's a bad taste.